The Pulse School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Saskatchewan Pulse Growers and BASF. Tom Wolf joins us for uh, this edition of the Pulse School. And Tom, it's fungicide season in pulses. And of course, we have big pulse acres in Western Canada this year. So uh, potential and lots of moisture too. So potential for uh, for need for fungicide control on, on many acres. What kind of tips do you have for producers in terms of getting maximum efficacy from, from fungicides? That's right. Lots of acres, lots of growth right now. Uh, we're looking for uh, ways of getting through some very dense canopies now. Uh, it's going to be especially challenging for the lentils. The lentil canopy uh, closes very tightly, as though it has a very slow start, a spindly little plant. Once that canopy closes, it's almost impossible to get spray through. Um, probably the best advice is to avoid that problem in, at the very beginning and, and try to spray earlier. So we're looking for uh, fungicides that perhaps have a somewhat more long window for action, post-application action. Uh, we might have to spray before we're certain that the disease is actually there yet. So there's a few, a few of those issues to just to avoid closure and, and, uh, and spray into a slightly more open canopy. Once the canopy is closed, very, very challenging. So uh, not that many options actually to make it in there. Are there any, any things that growers can do to help it penetrate? Yeah, there's a few things. I mean, the, the, the leaflets on lentils are small. Uh, there's many of them, but the best way to get uh, through those kinds of arrangements is with smaller droplets. So uh, the small drops can change direction a little bit and they might be able to go around a few of those bends that the canopy represents and make it through to the bottom. And the big one really is water volume. There's really no uh, substitute for adequate or even large water volumes. Now we're talking at least 15 gallons per acre, so these are large numbers for many users. But it depends, you know, it depends what, uh, what's in it, uh, what kind of a yield are you trying to protect. Um, very difficult. What about on, on peas? Anything to keep in mind on for yeah, peas? Yeah, so peas obviously grow much taller, but they have a much open, much more open stand, so much more open architecture. Typically, you can see the targets you're trying to hit in peas. Of course, you're trying to hit all, all the major plant components, the, the leaves, the, the stems, the, le the, the petioles, for example. Uh, it's much easier to do that in peas. Uh, still, some of the most common pieces of advice are to not try to not drive too fast. Uh, the faster travel speeds tend to make it more difficult for the spray to get through. Um, probably making the spray a little finer in this case also, although it's probably not as important as it was with lentils. And uh, again, the water. Uh, water is still your number one tool. Very important though is, is that you time things properly. Uh, so we do like you, uh, our customers to be using low drift nozzles because it gives them the opportunity to spray when they have to, even if the wind might be a little higher than they'd like. All right. Thanks for your time, Tom. All right.